Fucking well, howdy, howdy, and welcome back to another episode of Fishing with Curry. We are down at Hillbilly Heaven, aka Alligator Creek. We've got the young fellas bike here, the buggy. Kids are already getting into it. We just got here. We're just unpacking and getting sorted. And are we going to go in the boat and put the pots in? Yeah. Are you going to pick two pots? And you're going to pick two pots, Colt? I got, I got my, I got my prize box today from school for Colton. Well done. What a good sister. She won a prize and gave it to her brother. So yeah, I'll see you. Can't count. I got a miss from my dad. So you're helping him learn. What a good sister. But yeah, we'll go and put the pots in. Yeah, she's like a mother. She never shuts up. <laughs> but um, we'll um, go put the pots in shortly. And I'll wake up nice and early. Just going to have a nice family night down here tonight. Sit by the fire, make some s'mores and whatnot. But um, yeah, I'll go get the pots in shortly. And I will see you when we're doing that. Got some... Barra, some mangrove jack and just some mullet heads. Went down flicking with Jacko last weekend. So I'll actually roll on them clips now of us flicking before I go get these pots in. And then you will see some crabbing action when I come back. The trusty ultimate deckhand, Jacko. And we are, oh, you know the Bowley River. If you go out the mouth of it, turn right, travel about 10 k's. We're nowhere near there. So, um, we're in this nice little creek. Gonna go and get rid of the camping gear, chuck them up on a beach, and we go. We and... are flicking. Hopefully, we get a few. If not, we'll go back to the trusty bait, but we're gonna give it a good old nudge with the lures first. See how we go. Bloody top day, I will say that. Get him, Jacko. Codley. Off the board, the big fella. It's not a zero. <laughs> it's not a zero today, What's that tree, bro? Oh, hit. Hit. Yeah, we'll come back to this spot. I got a hit in there too. We'll go up to him and turn around. So we got a little flooddy boys. Spiky grab him by the butthole.
he's upset me. <laughs> He's got me in there, Jago. Oh, bro, turn, turn, turn. There's one for the whippy. Well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that isn't what you call textbook. <laughs> but we got him in the end. But that's fishing of curry. <laughs> and that's our specialty. We love it. Always. <laughs> now, considering the sequence of events just uh, unfolded in front of us, we don't actually have to do a language warning with this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't swear. <laughs> Here you, he is. You gotta keep that one for the wife, mate. That's, that's, that's a beautiful cod. Here's me. That's how it looks. Look, he's still got his timber on the back of him. 42. 42 on the measure. One for the whipping. See you on the. I can feel a fishy coming on. Bullshit. <laughs> Every time I sing that song, man. Dude, that was heavy too. Every fucking time I sing that song. I I, I don't know if I like that hook, eh? that hook tip thing anymore. I reckon you lose, you miss a lot of your hook hookups because of it. I'd rather go in for snags and miss hookups. Sink it right down, let it sink for ages. That was a good flatty. Another flatty for the boys. They want to go close to legal, but he's going back. It's not enough to get a good fill it off. I'm just about to chuck the fishing show on, actually, while we're sitting here. I might quickly do that. Ooh, the boys. Yes, mate, yes, mate. See ya, buddy. Another cod lee. Just come onto some good snags here, so hopefully we can find something better than that little cod.
Fucking bastard, eh? Bit of tucker for the lads. Just pulled back up here lunchtime. Bit of marinated steak from the Carnival Candy Store, Riverway Meats, around the corner from home. Couple of sausos. Should make a good poo. <laughs> Yummo. See us when we're fishing again, eh? Buzzer. Yes, Jacko. <laughs> Good shit, brother. Well Fuck that, that started off like a jack. I honestly thought that was a jack. He's legal. <sighs> Not a bad barramundi. Is that through the gills? Yeah, he swallowed He it. swallowed him. Oh, no. We'll come back to that in a second, guys. Well, she has been a big day. Been flicking most of the day. Had a little bit of a live bait fish to no avail. Jacko got a nice barra. A couple of little flatties we got, a couple of cod. And I got a good cod to take home for the missus. What a beautiful day it has been. Couple of fish in the esky. Couple of fish to have fun with. Look at this. This is what we get to sit down and eat dinner to. Bloody beautiful. The boat's down there. <whistles> Have a go at it. What do you reckon, eh? Can't get much better than that. Lovely. Life is bliss. North Queensland. Loving it. A little jackie boy. It'd be pretty legal, probably. Bigger than I thought. <clears throat> Early morning, Jack. Right on the edge of that, see the stick that's moving there, bud? As soon as it hit the water. Lovely. He's a bloody good jack. Yep. Oh, he's 40, bro. <laughs> he's coming home. I might get you to take a photo of him if you can, brother. <laughs> it's a dress on him, but that's his new motorbike shirt. Hey, it's beautiful bug. Mummy's down here driving the boat. What do you think? He's proud of mummy. Finally, finally getting the codes to drive it. Yeah. Makes it easier for daddy. We can stay in the car. Let's see how she's going out here. I think she's waiting until we get there, but that's fine. She sunk it? <laughs> I don't think she sunk it. She does, she does well. She does very well. <laughs> Here she is. <clears throat> I'm waiting, Vog. We'll come down and we'll wash your, wash your hulk and your boots off. All right, neutral. I put it into neutral too quick. Wash Hulk here, I'll wash Hulk off. You two jump in the boat, I'll wash Hulk. Jump in the boat, mate. Hulk got a bit of a mud bath at the boat ramp, so we'll give him a wash for the young boy. Alrighty, 
We are off and rolling. We got the ultimate pro crab pots in tow, seven of them. Because I had one nicked, but that's another day's story. Just put your hand but on let's go see if we can. Are you gonna are you gonna pick where you put your crab pot, Colty? Yep, he's looking for gutters, Dad. Alright, looking for gutters. Let's get it my dudes. This is awesome. Alright, still too shallow and the kids want to get a swim in before the big yellow goes down. So I'm just gonna run them along here. I was gonna run them on the flats, which is what I'd love to do, but I'll just move them there tomorrow while I'm fishing, so that's alright. Things happen, but um We'll run them over here and see how we go. Kenner, are you going to pick which pot's yours? Yeah. Are you going to pick which pot's yours, Colty boy? Yeah, there's the Baramusel we got on that last trip with old Jacko. He nailed this fella. We'll put him in this first pot. And it can be Colty's pot because he's the youngest. We're going to go youngest to oldest. And he's just going to deform him up a bit so he fits because he was a 62 or 63 centimetre barra. Uh, big one? Big one, huh? Got a bubble there, right in front of the boat. Oh, yeah. Alright, darling. Go back up to that point for me. Just go to this tree here, babe. I'll just put it here. Neutral now. Yeah, neutral. No. Now. No, don't give it heaps. Just let it idle in it. All right, neutral. Reverse. Now yeah, just reverse back and I'll drop it off the front. That way babe, push it that way. Put the on the other way, other way. Give it a bit of rev. All right, now you need to keep it going that way. It's all right. I'll push this off. Now go into this little cove and turn around. So hard that way. Yep, hard that way. A little rev. Now, forward, hard back the other way. Woo. It's all right. No, it's all right, we're nearly there. Forward, forward, hard. All right, go. You all right? Yeah. You did it. We're all right, it's fine. Right up there, Princess Pumpkin Bum. Daddy's gonna go fast in a minute. Come sit on my lap. Sit on the esky then and put your feet against the deck. Yeah, perfect. I won't go fast. Just while I'm walking back to the car, 
want to do a quick shout out to Townsville fishing community and just my mates bloody the amount of donations and support me old boys received since I posted a little post I put up I don't know if you follow me on Facebook but the old boy's doing it tough at the moment he's um nine weeks with nine weeks into radiation um yeah can't work and all the above but i'm not here to whinge about it or cry i just wanted to thank everyone from thank you fishing show to ryan tully he um he went above and beyond from berkeley fishing um even jesse from bus stops like the amount of support we've got the, the list goes on like I'm missing a lot ultimate pro crab pots BCT um, if I forgot you I'm sorry but yeah it's just a little bit overwhelming just the amount of support and everything that I got just from one little post for the old boy and Alice development like I don't even have words to describe the just thankfulness I have towards them like but yeah enough about that um, if you did want to donate or anything like that, no pressure or anything, but if you did, contact me on Facebook. I've got all the details, and we're also doing a um, little barbecue and raffle and auction and everything on the 3rd of November at the Alice Development Office. So, yeah, if you want to um, come along to that, you're more than welcome, but, yeah, just wanted to say thank you. Cheers, guys. Alrighty, we'll let to run this weekend so we've tied all the pots up. They've had an overnight soak, so let's see what is in them. It's gonna be easier said than done solo, but we'll see how we go. Like I said, we'll pull the boat out with the pot. Oh yeah, there's a keeper. To the middle so we don't get washed out and I'll give you a look at him. There's a keeper. Parked under a tree last night so the boat's full of bloody leaves but 
that's all right i'll clean all this out quickly and we will get going the sinkers can Oop. Alright, Mr. Krabby's. Let me see you. He's a nice crab. Might be two actually. That was not too bad either. Might be a little small. Oh yeah, he's a goody bud. That one's too small. <laughs> Grab of the weekend there. Woohoo! Have a geese at him. Woohoo! Lovely stonker. Oh well, let's get the crab cuffs, eh? See how they go. I'll show you his on the measure. He's going to be a good meat centimeter and a half over. Look at that. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, baby. All right, let's crab cuff him. Oh. Make sure you're pointing down. I think you can see that. I hope you can see that. Like I said, I'm solo, so it makes it a little bit hard. I found if you push them up against there, get that underneath and around. Perfect. He's locked up that side. Put that around. And underneath. Get him on his joint. And he is locked up that side. And you have? <laughs> How good is that? A tied up mud crab. I rate these bloody things. Thanks, Cody. Lovely. Uh, uh. All right, another 24 hour soak for this fella. Hopefully we have the same, if not better results. That's all you gotta do around the tree too. You don't have to tie them, just wrap it and then wrap it over the other side of its rope and they won't go anywhere. Pro tip, <laughs> you don't have to tie them up, so it takes ages to get them out. They'll pull themselves tight. <sighs> what do we got in here, boys? Oh, another keeper. Look at him. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Two from two. While that is holding us here, we might quickly do him up. Get him in the esky. Oh, nice rusty fella too. We got him, boys. We got him. Look at that. Hey. Oh, let's... King Crab Crab Cuff him. King Crab Crab Cuff. Coming in. Push him up. He is now pretty much retarded. Sorry, but I didn't mean to call you that, but that's what you are to me. You can't do nothing. Push it over his knuckle. Pull that bugger tight. Lock him off. Up and under the crab legs. She is. Push him up over the knuckle. Pull tight. Oh. Missed him. Full tight, baby. And he's done it for. Another one bites the dust. Coupla. Coupla, coupla, coupla. For the morning.
Checked one crab in the boat. Sorry, I didn't record it, but it's just getting on light now, so it was a bit dark. Oh, I see crabbies. Oh, he's a big boy. He's a big boy. Lovely. Might get him out and rebate this one. Good sized crab, but he's empty, so we can go back. Well, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. Six crabs, or might even have been seven, for the overnight soak. Not going to bother taking the kids for a fish. They're not just, they're just not into it yet. So we're going to finish the day by having a few swims, and they can ride their little quad around, and then we'll probably head off home. But thanks for joining me for another mission, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks again to all the people that are putting in and supporting the old boy appreciate it a lot have a good weekend have a good week enjoy see you later